All right, the last section of this unit is 4.8, and we're going to look at some word problems. Now, this word problem here is a little more complicated than the ones you've seen so far in this course, so um, it's worth doing a, a video on. So it says an advertising company needs to figure out the height of a billboard sitting on top of a building. So I'm going to draw that here. Mm -hmm. So there's my building, and then the billboard, the billboard sitting on top of it is going to look like this. So this is the side view of the billboard. And so Lisa's somewhere on the ground over here, and she looks up at it and notices that the angle of elevation The angle of elevation uh, to the top, to the to the roof, to the top of the roof is. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I didn't need to do that either. Let's try this again. Angle of elevation to the roof is 28 degrees, and the angle of elevation to the top of the billboard is 35 degrees. So there's two different angles that we're looking at here. One is to the top of the billboard itself and one is just to the top of the roof. So the one to the top of the billboard, uh, the one to the top of the roof rather, is 28 degrees. That's what it says here. So I'm going to label that 28 degrees. And the angle of elevation to the top of the billboard is 35 degrees. So I'm going to put that in blue and just call that 35 degrees. And so now what are we trying to find? It says if she's standing 150 feet from the base of the building, find the height of the billboard. Alright, so the height of the billboard is going to be represented by, we'll call it, uh, we'll call it H. So we need to find the height of this little red, basically this little red section of the triangle. <clears throat> now, there's a couple ways to think about this, but one of the things you should notice in this diagram is that there are two right triangles. There are two right triangles, and they're kind of like sitting on top of each other, but if you separated them, if you separated them, you'd, they'd look like this. Let's say this is the bigger one, so that it's the bigger one, so that means that's the 35 degrees, and that's 150. And then there's the one that's a little smaller, where that's still 150 degrees, but that's 23 degrees. And so we can definitely get the heights of or the this side on both of those triangles really easily, right? Because we know a side and we know an angle, and it's the right triangle. So we have trig functions to get us those. So that's a useful observation because if I can get this whole side here, let's see if I can get a nice arrow in here. If I can get this height here, all I need to do is subtract this height here, and if I subtract those two distances, I'll be left with that distance h, which is in fact the height of the billboard. So I'm going to call, I guess I'll call the black line, uh, we can call it anything, I'll call it a, and we'll call the, the smaller one b. So hopefully you'll agree that uh, a equals B plus H, right? Remember, A is supposed to be the length of that whole black line, which means that H is equal to A minus B. And if we just find what A is, and then what B is, and then subtract them, we'll get our answer. So this should be pretty straightforward. The sine of 35 degrees is A over 150. So I can solve for A. And sine of 23 degrees 
is equal to B over 150. Actually, somebody, somebody out there should have stopped me. I just used the wrong trig function. Tangent, right? Tangent of 35 is A over 150. Right, because the tangent of 35 is opposite over adjacent. Sorry about that. And same with over here, tangent of 23. Tangent of 23 is B over 150. Which means that's 150 times tangent of 23 is equal to B. And so now we just have to put these in our calculators. So B is 63.67 feet. And A would be one oh five point oh three. So now that we know A and B, we can get the height of the billboard really easily. We just do the subtraction hundred and five. 0.03 minus 63.67 and when we do that we get 41.36 feet so that's a that's actually a pretty tall billboard but in any event so these problems are a little less direct, right? They're a little less straightforward. You kind of have to combine the skills you have from the word problems we've done before uh, in kind of a new way to, to find parts of the triangle that aren't maybe the whole side. So there's one example of the type of problems you'll, you'll see uh, tomorrow when we, we get some practice.